Next up, we have Marvel Legends series, Marvel Studios, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. We have Ant-Man himself. So here's the a look at the packaging. So we've got the digital render on the front. We have the artwork on the side of Ant-Man. We have the digital render on the back. So we'll remind you, this does not come with a Build-A-Figure piece. This comes two per case. So you have his extra head sculpt, two different hands. And on the side, you have the Cassie Lang Build-A-Figure. I am not going in order. Uh, I opened up Kang and first, then Marvel's the Wasp. Now I'm opening up Ant-Man. So that's what's uh, next. Uh, I don't know who I'll do. We'll probably end up doing future Ant-Man next. But yeah, let's take a look at the figure and check it out. All right, here you go. Here's your Marvel's Ant-Man from Quantumania. I know that everyone was having a issue with his head sculpt not looking like Paul Rudd. And I can say, personally seeing this up close and personal, I actually think this is better than the other one that they had from uh, the first, second Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. Try to get a closer whoops, look. So, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I feel like he, this head sculpt actually looks a little bit better. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, if you get when and if you get this figure, what you think of the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt looks not too bad. But anyway, let's get back into the review. Let me fix my camera. Uh, but overall, not a bad looking figure. Obviously, it comes with his extra head sculpt, which is the Ant-Man helmet. And you get two extra hands. You got a regular open hand. And then you have a pointing hand, which is interesting, I guess. I don't know. Pretty cool. Different head sculpt. Different hand sculpts. Anyway, let's get into this. So as you can see, he stands pretty well, which is, you know, the problem I have with King. But overall, I really do think this head sculpt looks pretty good. It has the... Five, five o'clock shadow. It's hard to see with the lights kind of blaring on them. But overall, I think, I don't know. I really do like the set sculpt. It's not that bad. But let's check out his articulation so he can look up not very good. Not very high. Uh, he can look side to side for rotation all the way around. He can look down that, like that. That just not... Dang, not very much. And oh well. Overall, I mean, I like it. As far as arm articulation, they go out that far. Double jointed elbows. So that's good. Upper bicep swivel. Yeah. Wrist swivel. Hinge in. And this one, same thing, they rotate all the way around. Upper bicep, double pinless elbows. And I believe this is a whole new body mold too. Hinges in. And we have the upper. And then, yeah, he does not rotate at the waist. Just an upper diaphragm. So that kind of is interesting. It looks like it will, but it will not. Um, he can tilt literally nowhere. It's, wow. There you go. So he can tilt that far and that far. Hmm. So you got upper thigh cut and swivel. Double jointed knees, which is cool. Hinge at the ankle. Go that far back. Let's see how far he can kick up. So he can kick up pretty high. Not too bad. Let's get him at a 90 degree angle, basically. That's what he can kick. And then on the back, nothing there. Just, man, disappointed with it not going back. Just no ab, like no ab crunch. It's as far as he goes forward. I don't have a goofy ass uh, <laughs> pose right now. Let me fix that. 
but you know, whatever. It's an Ant Man figure. It's not going to be spectacular. I'm going to pull his head off. So you can give you guys a better look at his head. So there's his head. Dead on, looks like Paul Rudd. I think this is actually better than that Ant Man and the Wasp one. We'll put on his helmeted head, which doesn't snap on, it just kind of slid on there. Let's move the camera back. So, there you go, there he is in full suit. I'm going to change out this hand sculpt or hand with the pointy wrist. And like I said, I got these from Mike's Toys and Stuff in Orange, California. If you live in Orange or Southern California, go check them out. Let them know T3 sent you. Super nice dude. Okay, the pointing hand or the pointing finger, that's actually pretty cool. You could do all kinds of cool, probably, poses and stuff. I definitely, I definitely can pose toys or figures. I just... At the moment, I'm not doing a very good job. Let me get this stand. Come on. There you go. Ah, not that great. But anyway, overall, pretty good figure. Um, I still like the Wasp probably the most. Just because the suit, it just looks good. Uh, King, definitely my second one, my second favorite, just the loose legs, kind of as a disappointment. This one's not bad. I'm not saying it's not a bad figure. This is a pretty good figure for the most part. <clears throat> I just limited head, like he doesn't look up. Like that one, he looked up a little bit better with this head sculpt, but not much. Looks down a little better. And then this, like what the heck? Why didn't they do an ab crunch? I mean, he can go side to side. That's cool. But there's no, like, he doesn't even twist at the waist. I don't know. But regardless, not a bad figure. If you're going to pick up the wave, uh, definitely pick this up. If you don't have an Ant-Man, this is a pretty good Ant-Man. Overall, I like the first three figures so far. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to go follow Mike on Instagram, Mike's Toys and Stuff. And like I said, he's on Whatnot every Thursday at 7 p.m. And yeah, he does an auction pretty much every other week. It could be Marvel Legends theme, DC Multiverse theme, anime, uh, pops, whatever. Check him out. Like I said, let him know I sent you. And yeah, hope you enjoy this review. And to the next one.